and getting right back into it we are continuing with the five star free battles that came with the last update just got done doing Kid Gohan, Raditz, and Nappa. Now we're moving on to Captain Ginyu, Nail, and Ezra 21. And to answer one of my subscribers' questions, yes, Vegeta Ultra Instinct, I am getting your comments. I don't know what is YouTube's deal with um, getting comments from phones for whatever reason. It just doesn't make them always show a lot of the time. So, but yes, I do get your comments. And uh, thank you and shout out to you as well, buddy. And uh, yeah, getting right into Captain Ginyu. I'm gonna run with my uh, usual deck that I run, just because I think it's that good. It'll probably be a while before I see any other, you know, better SCC teams. Uh, thankfully, that's also why I tune into channels like Mug the Dude, Rock and Robo, and Unleashed. A lot of good teams over on their channels. Yeah, this battle is not going to be too difficult. This is just to gain new force. I think Captain Ginyu is still the only R figure of the. Um, in your figures. And my master unfortunately took a bit of damage, but that's fine. Again, you took a way more, I think, so. It worked out. And now I'm gonna do what I usually do going into turn two, put out in the Z Goku, start infecting everyone. I like to call him infecting everyone. Infecting everyone with his defense buff. Because once they get it, I can put the next figure off the field and they'll still be getting defense. Just such a great figure we got with the last update. Plus, he's also getting speed, so eventually, if I need to, I can go first. Same with Blue Vault Vegeta. It's another thing I like about him as well. Another really good figure, I think, is the Dragon Ball Super version of Android 17. Get quite a bit of defense piled on everybody that way, too. And I uh, think that would also even stack with the base form UR Bardock figure, as well as NFZ Goku. Might do that sometime, just to see how much defense I can put on everyone. I'll likely have Vados on the team if I'm doing that. Perhaps even Whis, but eh. It'd be a team that didn't do a whole lot of damage. That'd be like the only real downside to it. And uh, that's something that some players struggle with from time to time, is finding the right balance between attack, speed, and defense. Obviously, if you want both attack and defense, I recommend running second decks. And for the faster decks that you just need to kill figures with and hit hard, uh, you want to lean more towards speed and attack. And if you want my opinion on what I think is the best general speed to have on, like, a faster team, uh, I would say at least 3,000 across all figures, if possible. And if not, then of course that's what Videl's for. 
Okay, I'm not going to be able to ult one here, so... I'm going to save that. Yeah, I'm going to save it. Hey, you know what? Why not? I'll use it. Yay, I go second. And Ballas is gonna take no damage. Let's see how much Goku does here without all one skills. Still very decent damage. Does for Captain Ginyu. Next up, we have Nail, who is honestly one of my favorite characters. And I think it's easy enough to hear, but if you listen closely, you can easily tell that's also Sean Chamel doing the voice. You know, same guy who did Goku. It's funny, I didn't know that for like the longest time. Can I go second, please? Of course not. It's weird, too. You would expect him to be able to go first a lot easier, considering he's got Slug and uh, Frieza, along with Jocko. Jocko's pretty quick, too. Oh well, though. I tend to get screwed over when I'm recording anyway, so it's fine. Skip that, skip that. Alright, next we can start piling on defense. For whatever reason, Nail did not put Slug into Stripper Square. Skip that, skip that, and skip that. Don't feel like wasting my viewers' time, sorry. Almost screwed that up there. minus 5% to my ultimate damage. It's not like I have a god coup to negate that entirely. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, next I want to get Vegeta in here. What's also nice about rotating out my figures to get defense on everyone is it conserves HP on the team pretty much all across. And then at that point, you can just keep going with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And uh, even God Ku, if you please. Prefer. 
Let's see, spots are bottom right, upper middle, bottom left, upper middle. So I think we'll do this instead, actually. Okay, I got nothing to worry about. Slug really doesn't hit that hard. And I will try to outspeed this time, just because I want to get rid of Frieza. Oh wow, I screwed that up. Royally. Whoops. Like I said though, I tend to get screwed over while recording. Got it that time. Ninety-five HP, are you serious? Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to ult, I don't think, this game. Let's see, if Master's HP falls below 50% by the end of a turn, minus 5% to opponent Master's ultimate attack. That's actually not bad. I wouldn't really use that, though. And there you go, let's just finish him off. Just to get it over with, we'll also outspeed speed here. Again, I will say NFZ Goku does relatively decent damage for what it's worth, especially if you get SEC skills up on him and uh, put him out there with Goku. It'll start to hit hard pretty quick. And then finally we have Android 21. And then it's going to do for the 5 star free battles. Let's see, can I go second here? Good. I'm just gonna skip all their turns like we usually do. And wow, the same for Goku didn't take much damage at all. Show uh, off Android 21 here along with uh, the other two Maju figures here soon because they're all actually pretty decent. I think the only meh UR figure we got this time was the more defense oriented Super Saiyan 4 Go EX Gogeta. Actually, no, let's do this. I don't know what I was thinking there. And it's not like the defensive uh, variant of the EX Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is bad. It's just that for a defensive option, I don't think it's that good.
really don't know what was going on with the hut there. I don't know if you guys can see it on your end also. Uh, it's sort of like spazzing out and glitching. Uh, at the bottom here. The bottom there. Jesus, it was spazzing out like crazy. Please go first. Of course not. Thankfully, still managed to get rid of 13. Be surprised if Phobos doesn't kill here. Yeah, that's the only real bummer about investing in it all into HP for her, but at the same time, that's also really good. Uh, if you've got a god, you can make up for that pretty soon. Just another reason why I think people ought to use god more. Because of her skills, she takes away HP and heals herself, I forgot. Alright, well that is GG for Android 21. And uh, next time we come back, we'll start doing the new 6 star free battles we got with the recent update. The next time we'll meet up for Full Power Frieza, Android 16, Cell. If we have time, we'll do uh, Team Gohan in that same vid. And then uh, next time after, we'll probably deal with Super Boo, Metal Core, and Android 21. We'll have to see how it goes. But anyway, thank you all for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, peace.